G4S infamously dropped the baton over security for the London Olympics last year. Now the trail of woe is heading to Westminster with allegations of overcharging by the company and another contractor, Serco, for tagging criminals, some of whom were dead. This is a wholly indefensible and unacceptable state of affairs. The House will share my astonishment that two of the government's biggest suppliers would seek to charge in this way. The House will also be surprised and disappointed, as was I, to learn that staff in the Ministry of Justice were aware of a potential problem and yet did not take adequate steps to address it. G4S and Serco have had government security contracts running into hundreds of millions of pounds over the years. But an audit by Price Waterhouse Coopers discovered they were charging for tagging offenders who were back in prison, had their tags removed, had left the country or had never been tagged in the first place. And they could have been at it since 1999. We've long maintained that companies such as Serco and G4S are not fit for purpose in terms of handling contracts in the justice sector. We believe that justice is not for profit, it's too precious a commodity. Millions upon millions of taxpayers' pounds go into it and the taxpayer expects transparency and value for money. And these two companies have shown that they are fleeing in the face of that objective. The share price of both companies slumped dramatically on the news they were facing investigations. And both firms were contenders for lucrative new government contracts. The Olympic shambles cost G4S more than £80 million and it's then Chief Executive Nick Buckles, first a humiliating grilling by MPs and then his job. Mr uh, Buckles, it's a humiliating shambles, isn't it? It's not where we'd want to be, that is certain. It's a humiliating shambles for the company, yes or no? I cannot disagree with you. The new man at the top has issued a statement light on detail but full of intent. We place the highest premium on customer service and integrity, he says. We're determined to deal with these issues in a prompt and appropriate manner. Sentiments echoed by the Serco boss, who says Serco is a business led by our values and built on the strength of our reputation for integrity. The irony, of course, is that both these companies make their money from the justice system in this country and both now find themselves potentially caught up in it. David Bowden, Sky News.